In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel Andres, from the mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome again, welcome again to this, your channel, for the Gospel of October the 12th, 2019, according to St. Luke. And it came about, while he was saying these things, that a certain woman lifted her voice and in the crowd and said to him, Blessed is the womb that have carried you, and the breasts which you sucked. But he said, On the contrary, blessed are the ones hearing the word of God and observing it. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Our brothers who happen to be Christians, protesting from the first Protestants, which are the Roman Catholics, they basically protested against the ways of the original and the one that remains original, Orthodox Church. It used to be Orthodox and they protested and started changing things. And from them, uh, Luther and many others started protesting. Those Christians argue that the Lord is not recognizing his own mother by the words of this gospel. And let me make a statement on that. In the first place, the one that is given birth to God the Word, that is to, Lord, to the Lord Jesus, is one. Her name is Mary. And she has been blessed in a way that no other creature has been blessed. No one can take away that privilege, that grace of her. That's one thing. But the Lord wants to share with us the true joy. Because that maiden, that virgin, conceived in her immaculate womb, thanks to her hearing and obeying the word. She was the first human that basically heard the words of God, and even though it was for her almost like a sentence of death, she did not go back. She said, Behold, the handmaid of God, let it be done unto me as you have said. And out of that, the eternal word was incarnate of him, of her. So she is the very first one, and she teaches us to listen to the word of God and then to observe it. For it is not good at all for you to have a nice cross, to have a beautiful hat, clerical hat in your head, or to be a doctor in theology, sacred scriptures, canon, whatever it is, if you are not obedient to God. It's a waste of your life. You will end up in hell. If we do not learn to be obedient to Him, we're wasting our time. It will not be enough for you to be a bishop or a cardinal or the pope in your apostolic see. Because in the end, if you are disobedient, you will be going into hell. Let us today, dear brothers, see how easy and how difficult at the same time is to follow the Christ. We are to listen to the word and to observe it, to obey it. May the Lord Almighty shine his face on each one of us and strengthen us with the grace of the Holy Spirit so that we might be obedient to him. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.